Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day. How does it feel outside at your house? At my house, it feels so warm. It does not feel like I need a jacket or I need to wear gloves. It feels like I need to put on my shorts today. Is it warm at your house? Do you remember before spring break, it was winter, and now we have a new season. Do you know what season it is? What is it, Ella? Spring. It's spring. So we're going to make a spring painting today because you know when we come to the math room for our split group time, sometimes we do math, but sometimes we get to do some art too. So we're going to do art today, okay? So what you need, and I tried to find something that you would already have all the supplies at home. So all you need is a piece of white paper, and I picked thicker paper since I'm painting on it, but if you don't have thick paper, white paper like we use for free draw will work too. You also need a green marker, and this green marker smells like green apple. Do y'all remember our stinky markers at school? Oh. You also need three forks. You can use a plastic fork like I am, or you can use a real one and you can wash it when you're done. And you need a paper plate and you need some paint, okay? I'm going to use some red paint and some yellow paint. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some stems and leaves on my paper, okay? So I'm going to use my green marker. And I'm gonna draw some stems, starting at the bottom, and I'm just making curvy lines. They don't all have to be the same height. They can be different. However you think looks really pretty. So I'm drawing some stems. Then I'm gonna draw some leaves on the sides of my stems. all over the sides. You can draw as many leaves as you like. I see a lot of flowers growing outside when I go on my walk every day. We like to go on a walk in our neighborhood and I see so many pretty flowers that are starting to grow. We have some pretty yellow flowers out in the front of our house. All right, so I added stems and leaves. And now I'm going to get some paint. I'm going to put some red paint on my paper plate. And I'm going to put some yellow paint. Mm. All right, now I have a question. I have some orange paint. But if I don't want to use my orange paint, how can I make orange paint? Do you remember? Do you remember if we mixed some colors, we could make orange? We had to use two primary colors, yellow and red. And if we mix them together, sort of looks like ketchup and mustard, doesn't it? And if we mix them together, we'll get orange. All right, so now we're ready to do the fun part. So I'm gonna get a fork and I'm gonna dip it in my red paint till the bottom is really red. And then I'm gonna bring it over to my paper and put it right on top of a stem. When I'm finished, it looks like a red flower called a tulip. I'm gonna dip it in. I'm gonna go ahead and do all my red flowers. Got it really red. Now I'm gonna stamp it on my paper. Sort of rock it back and forth. All right, now I'm gonna get another fork and I'm gonna do some of my orange, that color that I made. You can mix up lots of colors to get whatever color you would like on your painting. This one's sort of a dark orange. If I want it to be brighter, I need it more yellow. Put another one down. And one more. Now I need some pretty yellow. Gonna dip my last fork in the yellow and stamp it. 
stamp it. All right, and now I'm all done. I'm gonna hold it up. Do you think you can make a spring flowers painting today? I hope you can. Send me a picture when you're finished. I wanna see it. Bye.